Hello, my friends, and welcome back to a blind let's play of Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. My name is Afutless Bird, this is your Story Based Gaming Channel, and our last episode we went around and introduced everyone to each other. Uh, she passed out because we made her think of her sister, and then we saw all those really creepy images of her sister, and it was, it was pretty bizarre. We were also told by Kutaro, I think it was Kutaro, um that his death game or his first trial i should say was different from other people it seems it was his job to bring out this box and we're told we need keys for this that makes me think about what each person's death game was like and we're going to go ahead and use the red key on this a large box big enough to fit a watermelon i really hope it's not a head that was that was the one thing i was hoping for it's not a head This is it. The key fits perfectly in the hole. There are three keyholes, which means we need two more keys. Can we use our key too? Let's try it. Oh, and I wonder if Kana took a red key from Kana's clothes. It's not whittled down, but I'll give it a shot. The other two keys also fit perfectly. All right, this might be dangerous, so leave it to the policeman. And it's open. What's inside? Ah, uh, you might not want to look. Unfortunately, I saw it before Kaiji could speak. Inside was... A person's- OH MY GOD! Oh! Oh! Oh, I said, please let, don't let it be a head, and it was a head, and then it fell off the screen. Oh, come on, game. I didn't need to see that. Ah, it's a person's head. Ah! No! For, 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 for real? I'm sorry, I couldn't- I, for some reason, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still like, I can't speak right now because my brain just melted after seeing a head fly across the screen. Oh, the dots. Wait, isn't it just a doll? Oh, thank God. Is it? Please say it is. Huh? Oh, you're right. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's not a person's head. It's a doll's head. I can live with that. Hmm. A letter. Find my body, bring me back, for I don't have arms or legs. So is our next trial going to be to complete the doll? Find her body? Where could the body be? Kai, that's his name. Kai. Uh, do we need to find it, Meow? This could be a trap. Trap. Wolf. That's true. I don't think there's any need to do what the letter says. I think it's about time we search outside of this room. Hey, isn't that dangerous? I want to get back home. Can't stand to just sit still here. Uh, let's move in groups. So that no one does anything suspicious, right? Oh, the dots. S I I'm scared. If there's some other horrible device like the first trial. Yo, uh... Me and now can look out to Kana. If you guys are in danger, just haul your butts back here. Well then, who should I go with? Uh, Joe seems like the obvious answer. Someone trustworthy is hard because which person do I actually trust? Someone to keep an eye on. Act alone. I don't think we should act alone. I think it's important that we get to know people. I'm gonna go see who Sarah thinks is trustworthy. Let's see. Kotaro's powerful, and now can vouch for Professor Sh Mishima. Maybe Jin, since he's just a kid. Ah, uh, they all look so suspicious, though. Hey, Miss Sarah. Could we search together? Eh? Uh, no. Please, no. Sorry. If you can't trust me, that's fine. It's not anything like that, just- No, it, it's totally like that. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. 
I trust you too, Miss Sarah. But throwing around a word like trust just makes you look suspicious, huh? No, no, it's not like I really distrust you, so... Alright, let's get searching around. Don't have any big spills, guys. And be sure to share any info you find. Discussion end. All right, Miss Sarah, should we go? The first trial, a doll head and a body. Let's try to find some kind of clue. I don't wanna go with this guy. He really creeps me out. Can we like look at other people? No, but we are gonna save. Cause yeah, if, if, if you die, there's, you gotta go back to last save. Now and Reiko are looking after a phoenix Kana. Sarah, come running if you're in danger, right? Feel free to lead the heavy lifting to the guys. Then again, that scrawny beanie kid doesn't look so tough himself. Ah, uh, you better run too. Ah, uh, what, what a cutting remark. <laughs> Best of luck, everyone. All right. There are many exits out of the room. Taking a look through them, mostly most seem to lead to dead end passages. You see those huge cushions in the dead ends? I wonder, when I fell, did I land on one of those cushions? Same for me. I read all of us fell in a similar way. Joe came running into the hall there. Didn't imagine you two would be friends, though. What does that mean? There are many exits out of the room. Okay. Which is basically a lot of exits. Move. All the question marks, all the more question marks, or all the fewer question marks. Well, left is always right, so let's start with left. And I uh, might as well use the top one first. Seems the most logical thing to do. They're a green vending machine here. Seems to sell drinks, but I've got no money. By the way, just because I give him, like, a raspier voice doesn't mean he's an evil villain. It's just the voice that I gave him. So please don't look into things. Bar. Can't click on it. A vending machine with high prices. Water and soda both cost a thousand yen. Talk about price gouging. A vending machine with high prices. Okay. So this is the bar. Central hall. Oh wait, passage to bar, and then bar. Ah, okay. This looks like a bar. It looks like Mishima's here. Seems to be a lot of alcohol present, but you're underage, so keep away, Miss Sarah. You better not drink at a time like this either, Sal. On the other hand, some might say there's no better time to drink. Yeah, that's true enough. By the way, the, uh, the cat kid's here. There's a bunch of names on the blackboard. Can drink. Alice, Kai, Kazumi, Keija, Shunzuku, So, Namichi, Mai, Megumi, Reiko, Kotaro. Can drink. Anzu, Kana, Jin, Kyugi, Sarah, Joe, Nao, Hinako, and Amaru. Our names, and some stranger's names too. Don't tell me, the people who haven't seen are. Wait a second, how many names were there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 20 names. Hmm. See, now if there were 22 names, I would start theorizing that we're not the first ones to be trapped in this, whatever this is. We're actually the second group of people. But because there's 10 names, we could still be the second group, though. Maybe the first group only had 10 people. <sighs> A variety of alcoholic drinks. None of these drinks seem especially notable. See, it's tough to see what you haven't clicked on, what you have. But you know, we'll figure it out. I feel there's something on the side of the counter. Move the stool out of the way. A sliding door. Very cool. Before we open that though, let's talk to the others. 
Jane is searching at low eye level. Ah, uh, bars are just full of alcohol. Meow. I hate alcohol. Woof. And I hate my trucker dad more. Meow. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Now let me give you a head pat. Your dad has a bad drinking habit. He's an annoyance. Woof. When you drink, you gotta be sure not to get swallowed up yourself. I'm drinking H2. I thought to be careful. Professor Mishima is inspecting every inch of the room. Oh, Miss Sarah! Have you encountered any dangers? Please take our most caution, yes? I will. There's a sliding door on this side of the counter. Open sliding door. Let's open it, I guess. Hooah! Yeah! Won't open. <laughs> I'm too weak. I really doubt I can open this. Okay, so what? Do we need Kutaro here for this? Because that's what I'm basically getting told from that. Alright. Passage to bar. And then set to hall. And next question mark. Do, 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 do. Music is really good. I like it. Oh, it's another vending hall. A vending machine. And this time it says game instead of bar. There's a red vending machine here. Seems to sell cigarettes. And the back is a smoking area, I guess. Don't buy any if you're underage, of course. Can't go turning you into a delinquent, Miss Sarah. Even lots of delinquents don't smoke, honestly. A sign that reads game. The vending machine is stocked with cigarettes. There's something in the dispensing slot. Obtain a cigar. Ah, it's got a high class feel, huh? Cool, so the items show up down here. A cigar with high quality wrapping. The back seems to be a smoking area. Can't open it. Can't click on the trash can. Game room. Is this a game room? Pretty lonesome, considering. Feels like there'd be some kind of puzzle or trick to this place. I'll rely on your insight, Miss Sarah. Alright. The blue door seems to open easily. Seems we can enter any time. Red door is shut fast. How curious. Well, actually what it looks like is you enter this way and you exit this way. That's my guess on that. What's this thing about the dartboard? Seems to be a breeze blowing. It's a dartboard. How dreary. Playing here would just feel lonely. Okay. Move to blue room. Okay, there's people here. And then there's purple people here. Whoa, what are those? There are human-shaped figures sitting in the chairs. Let's get closer and check them out. All right. Sure is a suspicious place. I tell you what. What are you doing, Kataro? Uh, just getting a big old view of the room. But these guys, they're checking every corner, no hesitation. Ain't they scared of traps? Uh, I wonder what this big painting is for. Finding it curious? Uh, yeah. Maybe try taking it off the wall. I think I'll check the easy things first, like uh, these chairs. Besides, Sarah, it's just barely out of your reach, huh? Hey, I grew a centimeter since last year. Don't take me lightly. Uh, d don't put me down, man. I'll be calling you Shorty someday. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> hey, Sarah, put out your hand. Huh? Received three bullets? Wait, these are... No, they're not mine. I found them while checking the seats. I've never seen these in person before. Are these real bullets? Probably. Dangerous stuff. So, would you take them? Why me? Joe will get antsy if I have them. That said, I can't get them to Joe either. 
So I'm counting on you, Sarah. Okay. Live bullets, I have three. Can be loaded into a gun and fired. Extremely lethal. It would appear this is a dull. Its placement here seems significant. The head has a weighty feel. When I shake it, I hear this slashing sound. Is there a liquid inside? Perhaps the kidnapper's aim is to have us stick a straw in there for hydration. Maybe when we find ourselves thirsty. The head seems pretty solidly built though. Oh, the dots. Apologies, I was trying to tell a joke. At a time like this? <laughs> Truly sorry. <laughs> ah, it's good, keep up the humor. Something strange is sitting in the chair. Uh, looks like it's a doll. A doll, huh? Let's inspect it. Let's take it off the chair and inspect it. Hmm. The doll's attached to the chair. Feels like there's something to this. Well, that's good anyway. I don't know what I'd do if it suddenly attacked. Hmm. Take a closer look. There's something between the doll and the chair. Is this a gun? Great, now we got a gun and bullets. Tain a revolver. What are you going to do with that, Sarah? Eh? Oh, the dots. Ah, sorry, Miss Sarah. Hey, would you give me that? Oh, the dots. Um, 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 uh, no? 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 Why am I having trouble saying no? Because part of the way you're built, Fuzzbird, is you trust people, even when you probably shouldn't. This is such a bad idea. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to! Ah! You gotta trust in people, Fuzzbird. Gotta trust in them. Oh, the dots. Aha! Aren't you scared? Giving this to a total stranger? All the dots. Thinking it's safe because there aren't any bullets. No way, Miss Sarah. You carry this yourself. Don't hand it to someone so easily. Ooh, okay, good. But we showed we trusted him. See? That's good. I understand. I'm happy you trust me, though. Haha. <laughs> A revolver. One that fires bullets can be charged with up to nine bullets in a circular chamber. What's the large hole in the center for? Can we like combine? I guess not. Uh, looks like all the dolls are the same. Okay, let's move out. Go back to the game room. Go back to the... We can't go in the red room. Yeah, it's tightly shut. So it looks like we exit out of the blue room too, I think. So what's the red room for? Something we'll have to find out later, I guess. Oh, look at this. This looks like a cafeteria. I wonder if our kidnappers are telling us to eat up here. All the dots. There's something on the table a small dart. It's small, but it looks fancy. The tip is sharp, so be careful. A fancy dart. It's extremely solidly made. Could probably combine this with another item. Okay, what? Like what? Stuck the dart into the large hole in the center of the revolver? Combine the dart with the revolver. Everything's worth a try. Can I fire this dart with this now? Huh. But well, we can't combine the bullets in the gun. Hmm. There's something on the table. Obtain a lighter. That's an explosive looking Zippo lighter. And we can use that with the cigar probably, eventually. I can see the kitchen through the glass. The door to the kitchen is shut fast. An elegant chandelier. There's a pitch block area in the back of the cafeteria. Um, back of cafeteria. Well, that's one of the creepiest things I've seen lately. What an imposing atmosphere. That red lamp is eerie. 
Don't think I had the courage to enter that door. Whoa, it's not locked. Well, what should we do, Miss Sarah? Are we going in? Why not? Here goes. Oh, yeah. Here goes. What the? Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Oh, this is a lot creepier now because of the way it, it's done. I mean, there's nothing on the shelves. There's a heart-shaped vent on the wall. Eerie stuffed animals. A cloth doll torso leans against the wall. It's not going to move, is it? Could this be related to the head in the box? I want to see what this... I mean, it's obviously this, but I want to see what happens if you say this. Usable as a blunt weapon. Your imagination has some wild quirks. Quirks? But more importantly, don't you think it's related to that doll head in the box? Find the body. There was that note, wasn't there? I wonder if the doll head from the box can be combined with this torso. Will that make something happen? It might not. Oh, it might. Which is a little scary. Yeah, right. Let's search around some more first. <laughs> yeah, we can put this off for now. Okay. Let's go back to cafeteria. Why can't I go inside? Because it's shut fast. Okay. Um... Smoking area hallway. Game room. It's a dartboard. How dreary. Playing here would feel just lonely. I know. I could shoot the target with this dart loaded revolver. Shoot it. All the dots. Congratulations! Congratulations, a fantastic bullseye! For hitting the bullseye, you get a wonderful gift. Please look into the hole. Exercise and caution as I looked into the hole around the dartboard. I saw something within reach. Obtained a left leg. Ew. Ugh, that's the worst. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, looking closer, it's a doll leg, huh? How mean to pull the same trick over and over. Oh, hold on to this. Okay. Oh, it's a very deep hole here. By the way, I was told with the mouse wheel I can like, ah, look at this. With the mouse wheel, we can actually scroll to previous text. Very cool. Yikes, that's deep, all right. Seem like there's a wind blowing. Okay. How curious. Hmm. So what do we do now? Um. So they're just saying... Oh, here we go. Um. Uh, so, was it? Aha, uh -huh, I'm glad you remembered my name. Ah, I'm glad you remembered my name. Of course, man. You better keep watching Sarah for me. Aha, uh -huh. I think I need to worry more about not dragging her down. So it looks like they do say different things. Well, now, does it seem like there's security cameras? Sometimes they say different things. I will search diligently. Um... What do we do? Okay, I guess we gotta look around some more. Obviously missing something. Hmm. Let's go back to the central hall. Nao and Reiko are looking after Finikana. Come running for danger. Got it. Yeah, we've heard that already. Ah, so what are we missing? Yeah, we got that already. Hmm, what is that? 
Eh? Oh, that cigar! I might have kept a counter on such a thing. I wasn't going to smoke it. I thought it might be a clue. Oh, is that so? Apologies for my suspicion. Hmm, it seems I submitted teaching mode whenever I see a student. However, well, let's see. Uh, yes, could you let me hold on to that? I'm telling you, I won't smoke it. Handed the cigar over to Professor Mishima. Okay. Oh, the lighter. Andy, did you find it somewhere? Yes, in the cafeteria. Ah, uh, perhaps you mean the lighter, babe? What? I'm not going to smoke. Hmm, then uh, could I hang on to it? He's bizarrely wary of underage smoking. Handed the lighter over to Professor Mishima. Okay, so we got rid of both of those items. And that's it for him. And then we have the drinking habit. Yeah, we have the drinking habit. But we can't open the drawer. So how do we open the drawer? Is there something we missed? Hmm. So we talked to we talked to these two. We tried opening the door. We cannot open the door. We clicked on the vending machine. Uh, what was the other area we haven't tried yet? We've already been to cafeteria. There's like no one here. Wait, maybe we're supposed to go to the uh to that back room now. A red lamp nearly illuminates the door, and the sound stops. It's so creepy. Yeah, we're going in. Clothed doll torso leans against the wall. We can put this off for now, right? Right? What are we supposed to do? Obtain bullets? Wait, what? Something sitting next to the stuffed animals. Obtain bullets. These feel pretty light. Hey, let me look at those. Ah, these are dummy bullets. Dummies? They're like toys. If you put these in a gun, they won't fire. So they're not real bullets. Yeah, they're safe at any rate. I know, let's have Kaiju look at these. He should have more expertise than us. So maybe he can tell us something. I'm hoping they can give us some kind of clue about the culprits. Alright, so there was someone, like, right here between the animals. Okay, now we know what to do, though. We need to move back and talk to Kaiji. Who is... He is... Not in the bar. This is a game room. Yeah, he's back here. He's in the, uh, the blue room. Hey, Sarah. Have you found anything out? No, there's still plenty I don't get. What's especially strange to me is how there were gun and bullets in this room. What meaning could there be to the kidnappers giving us a weapon? Oh, the dots. Might want to cause discord. Discord? A weapon that puts one person at an advantage. Who'd want to hand over to so who'd want to hand that over to someone else? A fight over the weapon. Yeah, that is plausible. But we've got good old Sarah with us, so we won't fall for that trap. Why do you trust me so much? Cause you're cute. Aww. Well, that's not a reason. Like, seriously, dude, that's not a reason. Kaiji's been intentionally guiding everyone to put their trust in me. I wonder why. Didn't expect you to respond to a compliment with such a dubious look. Oh, right, Kaji. I found these dummy bullets in the cafeteria. What's that? Handed the dummy bullets to Kaiji. Do these seem like a clue? I'll check them out. Now, what to do while he's investigating? Hell no. Dummy bullets, I have six. If you pull the trigger with these, I'll only make a sound. And we have live bullets that are three. And we have a gun that can hold nine bullets. 
That seems pretty ominous. We're gonna have to do some Russian roulette. I'll take a close look at these dummy bullets. Just give me a little time. Okay. I tried taking this painting off the wall earlier, but it's stuck on there tight, so no dice. Can't investigate it anymore, huh? Well, now. Yep, security cameras. Search diligently. To be stalls in the chairs, kick on the ladders. You're know, talking about the painting. Alright, let's move out. I guess I'll search elsewhere. Oh, Sarah, hold on a sec. Yes? Before leaving the room, I turn around and. Huh? Miss Sarah, aren't you coming? Whoa! Mark, what the? Miss Sarah, are you okay? Iron bars appeared over the door, separating me from so. We've been locked in? Gah! It won't open. Uh, I'll look for something to pry with. Well, this sure is bad. Uh, Sarah, you hurt? No, I'm okay, but... Dang it, it's a trap. Who knows what'll happen. Stay alert. Hey now, don't put yourselves so on guard. What? Uh, whose voice is that? Ha, ha, ha. Don't sweat the details. Oh, it's the pain that's talking. I'm the master of this room. You can call me Meister. Now, to get right to it, let me explain the rules of the next game. The, the rules? Well, of course. You want to stake your life without even knowing the rules? You're a real character, man. Stake my life? This one's simple. Right now, there's you five humans in this room, right? Glance around the room. There's four open seats. One will be the challenger, and the other four will sit down and be targets. Targets? Targets for what? Well, I gave you that cool weapon here in this room, didn't I? Uh, we gotta be targets for a revolver? And what are the rules to this? Surely there's an outcome where nobody dies. Ha ha ha, naturally. A regular death trap is just old hat, get me? But see, first you'll have to decide who'll be the challenger for me. You're telling us to decide who's gonna shoot without knowing what the game is? Who's gonna want to be the targets? Oh, the lot of dots. Uh, so will the challenger be safe? Yep, only the targets get to relish the thrill. What a shame. Uh, I see. Sarah, can I ask you to be the challenger? What? D don't kid me. Uh, you can't decide that all on your own. I suppose it may not be proper to make a young girl handle a gun. I'm in favor of it myself. Sarah's got a clear head. Uh, so, uh, well, Sarah, you, uh, confident? Confident? I'm definitely not. All the dots. Joe. In that trial, he did what I counted on him to do. Now he's making a request of me. I can't possibly tell him I'm not confident. All the dots. Please, let me do it. Oh, the dots. No way. Can't approve of that. It's not like I don't trust you. Don't think badly of me. Oh, the dots. Holding it to a vote. Perhaps that is the best way to settle this. Why don't we discuss it and then hold a majority vote? Yeah, might be the only way. Alright. Gotcha. Let's do it. Talk to me when you're all set. I'll be standing right here. Okay, well, data, save. I think that's what the game is trying to tell me. Wanna save. You prepared for the discussion? Yes. I'm always on your side. So he says. 
side challenger. Whoa! That was cool. All right, let's discuss who's going to take the role of challenger. Once we settled our opinions, we'll hold a vote at the end. Uh, Sarah. You know what's up? Show Kataro what makes it worth trusting. All the dots. Okay. Uh, we gotta have time. One we can trust most to be the challenger, I'm thinking. No objections there, right? So, let's talk it out. Development. Straight to the point. I got experience handling guns. So, leave being the challenger to me. Uh, is that true? Yep, I hate lies. I got real acquainted with shooting when I went to the US. So, you're saying you've had training? I'll keep it simple too. Kutaro, even if you do have experience, I can't trust you. All oh, the dots. Really? Now? Sorry. The mood has become tense. Hmm, I am undecided. It pains me to put the responsibility on Miss Sarah. Uh, it should be fine. Sarah's got a mind of steel. Just call her a steel mind. Steel mind? Don't get caught up on that part, please. Uh, so, uh, well, Sarah, can't you think of any rebuttals? Rebuttals? There's a lot I can say myself, is there? I'll think about it. Uh, ask me if you're not sure. We'll uh, stress about it together. But won't necessarily settle it. Okay, um, extract. Uh, don't look so nervous. Put on your usual big shot attitude. Who do you even think I am? Uh, the godfather of Sonobono High School. Erk, can't you think about this seriously? Hmm. Don't know how to object, I don't know how to gain trust. It's hard to tell everyone to trust me, I'm just a regular high school student. Two, uh, thinking about logically, you don't have much ground to stand on, Sarah. In that case, how about you have two people's statements duke it out? Duke it out? Yeah, uh, pit opposing statements against each other to advance the discussion. So you're saying to borrow the words of others? I'll give it a try. Controls. Touch first to pit one person's statement against someone else's. If that statements are in conflict, the discussion will advance. Okay, well, we don't know what to do yet, so... Looks like I can't ask about the other thing. Darn. We don't have enough time. Time to build trust, that is. That's precisely. And yet, it appears you are very trusting of Miss Sarah. Oh, you can tell? If I may offer my interpretation. Perhaps it's because Sarah and Joe are acquainted. Because those two can vouch for each other, you concluded that they could be trusted, yes? Do I look that calculating? That comes as a real shock. It's just intuition. I'm confident in my eye for people. I see. However, there's a piece missing from your story. Oh yeah? All the dots. Okay. Though I'm not confident in holding a gun myself, so it's a question of who I would want to do so. Of course, there is someone here who would be well suited to such a task. But for some reason, he is not presenting himself as a candidate. Oh, the dots. Whatever the case, if he refuses it, I have no desire to ask him. How troubling. Uh, not a lot of people in this country who handle guns. My experience is, invalu is valuable, ain't it? We don't know what the game entails, but if it requires skills with guns, well then, yes. Right, I ain't thinking a single thought about keeping my own hide safe. I'm just considering the best way to beat this game. Uh, I, I do get what you're saying, but... You guys gotta think about it rationally. Uh, it's not like we're thinking about not thinking either, okay? Alright. So, versus... What, this? Straight to the point. 
keep it simple. I got experience handling the guns. Pain's gonna put the responsibility on Miss Sarah. So there's not a lot of options here. But this one is against Kataro. Kataro, even if you do have experience, I can't trust you. Erk! Why is that? Ain't experience important for this? It's because I can't imagine this game requires skill with the gun. Say, uh, what? Look at the room. Aren't these dolls curious? I'm betting they're dummy targets. Dummies? Shoot a human or shoot a doll. That's probably what this game's about. Oh, the dots. What's important is a cool head. The targets can't move from the chairs anyway. I'm always cool headed, believe it or not. Even when you're pointing a gun at someone. Oh, the dots. It's an awful thing when the person you're looking at could die by your hand. You ever experienced that? Oh, the lots of dots. I trust someone determined to save her friend more than an amateur with average training. Oh, uh, the, uh, dots. I get it. Maybe I might not be up for it. But still, I got more to say. Suppose I'll listen. Progress. Kaiji, doesn't that mean we should have you be the challenger? You must have been in tons of gunfights in your line of work. Oh, the dots. Uh, well, uh, that, that, that is true. Indeed, I was wondering about that myself. Why the policeman who would be most suitable is not recommending himself. Uh, guess you would think so, huh? If I'm gonna put my life on the line, I want the most dependable person I can get. If it ain't me, then it's Kaiji. You're the only one. Uh, Kaiji? Uh, what's... <clears throat> Kaiji, uh, what's the matter, man? All the dots. Uh, we won't know if you keep quiet. If you refuse, I wish to know the reason. At this rate, it will prove an issue. We cannot end our discussion in this state. Whew. All right, so let's see here. Kaiji, sure is acting strange. At this rate, the discussion can advance. Well, when that happens, try talking to people so you can extract new statements to work with. Uh, your clean questioning might just lead to an important statement. Am I that clean? Uh, I'm joking, you know that, right? I was joking too, but it's fun to see him flustered. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't grin at me. All the dots. Kaiji's lips are sealed. Have you never fired a gun? Why are you so silent? Have you never fired a gun? Kaiji, have you ever actually fired a gun? I have. He answered that easily, and yet... Kaiji, why are you staying silent? All the dots. Kaiji, answer me! Whoa. We're all being serious. If you don't say what you're thinking, we won't know. All the dots. Ha ha ha. <laughs> what are you? My mom? Ha 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 ha. All the dots. Ah, uh, that was a good laugh. All right, I'll explain. I shot a person. Since then, I haven't been able to fire a gun. Huh? I know it's pathetic. Should have been prepared for that when I became a detective. But if something like that happened, wouldn't it make the news? Reality is not only what comes to the surface. That's all I got. It's the truth. I doubt he'll tell me anymore. But it seems I've extracted a new statement out of Kaiji. Cool. Ain't it clear? Handles, handles guns and cool-headed? The most suitable? 
He might be right. If I would ask someone else, I'd probably ask Kaiji. Yep. Under normal circumstances, I would never press someone this deeply. But our lives are on the line. So even Kai can't remain aloof forever. Alright, so it's definitely Kaiji. And... Um... I wish to know the reason. He wants to know the reason. I don't intend to quarrel with anyone. Doesn't seem to have had it in effect. Okay, so maybe it's this one. I would think that that would be more likely though, because he wanted to know the reason. But I guess these two are the ones going at it, so it does make sense. Zet, the truth. Yeah. On the job, right? Did the one you shoot die? All the dots. Oh, the dots. To medic, I bet. Feel sorry I can't live up to your expectations. Ever since then, pointing a gun at somebody makes my head go weird. Can't stop sweating. Wouldn't want to make you do it then. Uh, so, you're kind of Sarah, right, Kutaro? Oh, the dots. <laughs> But hold on now, I'm still uneasy. It's our lives, what's on the line, right? Huh? Uh, Kataro. I managed to convince him this much with everyone else's words. Sarah. But in the end, I had to persuade Kataro himself. Controls, war of words. A war of words will begin with Kataro. Kataro's statements will appear in speech bubbles. By touching statements that you can refute, you'll deal damage to Kataro. Choose the statements that seem like they'd inflict the most damage and defeat Kitaro. Wanna hear it again? No, it seems very dang and ish. I use your, uh, use your words and prove to me that you are worth trusting. Saving here. Good time to save, I guess. Oh my gosh, did the game just... Okay, there we go. Alright, actually this is a great time to uh, take a break because we've been going for a while and my ability to talk is diminishing because yeah, there's only so much you can do at once. Um, thank you for everything, you guys. Uh, we'll see where this concludes in our next episode. I love you a lot. And until then, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.